And that was contestant number seven. We also have a friendly reminder. Anyone back there standing on the wall trying to snag, have a seat. It's a fire hazard, so we want to invite you back on down. Next up, we have contestant number eight, Ontario, Ontario Arrowwhite. She is Shoshone Bannock, Northern U, U Mountain U. She comes to us from Fort Hall, Idaho. Tonight, her talent will be the Ute Bear Dance. One of her, some of her favorite stuff, she likes Bannock Bread, reading Japanese manga, and watching the Golden Girls. So thank you for being a friend. Contestant number eight, Ontario Arrowwhite. Good evening, my people. When we hear the first thunder, our Nuchu start to prepare for the coming of spring to reunite with family and friends after a long winter. We come together to celebrate life and to give thanks of the blessings that we have received. The youth bear dance comes once a year. It takes away negative energy and it makes you feel good. Our people come dressed in their finest attire. It is the lady's choice to choose her partner. However, she cannot dance with her relatives or her man. The bear dance singers, they use a hardwood stick called bear growlers to stimulate the bear growling. Our songs are about animals and nature. We do not eat the bear because it's our relative. The line dance is the beginning of the bear dance. It represents the bear standing its own two feet going back and forth while dancing in place across of our chosen partner. When the dancers are then cut, they would start to dance going back and forth to create bear tracks. This dance is to celebrate all the things that we have and to give thanks of our Dhamma Uppa for what we receive, to, to appreciate life and to feel good. So at this time, this dance is for everyone as we have survived this pandemic. May you all be blessed. Thank you. And have a good year. Thank you. Thank you. 